Hi everyone, back again, continuing on with Reef. Um, I wanted to keep going with it just to see how this is going to work out. I'm supposed to be having, is it my eye hook or my H that I was working with? Huh, I don't remember. I think it was my eye because of the glare that it creates. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, keep going with it um, just to see how the pattern looks with it. Um, adding a couple more rows to it just to see how it plays out. So I know several of y'all um, have followed along with these videos. And I know once it gets down to like the third and the fourth, one, um, there's not as many people that are watching it, and that's okay. For those of you that want to see how it continues to play out, then this is for you guys. All right, so color change, and it's good because the color change is right here one, two, three, four, and it's going to be the same location, number five. I don't have much to say in this one anymore because I've gone on and on and on with it. I did successfully pull Banana Berry and um, I may do that video next after I get this one done. I also have some uh, Red Heart with Love, a couple of those that I've been wanting to pull because they pull so easily. And I've had a request to find um, a colorway. I need to find it. It's called Ocean. And whatever uh, Red Heart Variegated that I can um, that I can locate. Um, close by is nice. Um, I will be traveling again, so I'll have to go into that Walmart and see what they've got. I was traveling every weekend to see my son wrestle and play football. That was a lot of traveling. That season is over now, but I will be um, going down to Texas soon to visit my mama. And my family down there. So that'll be nice. I haven't been to Texas in a while. And I do miss it. Okay, so I see there's a color change coming up here. I have to watch my tension because um, I notice I've been crocheting kind of tight. So if my color change isn't coming up soon enough, I'm going to have to go back and loosen those up. This is three. Yeah, I'm going to loosen these up because here's the, it's going to the brown here, but it's just not quick enough like I would like it to be. So I'm just going to loosen up this one. I think also, whenever I get done with this here, I'm going to um, frog it all out and try a different pulling technique with it instead of doing the shells, I almost called it fans. Um, instead of doing the shells, I think I'm gonna do a different technique and see how that comes out. I'll probably try it first and then do a video on it. I'd like to get the technique down. So I've got two here, but I've got three here. And I'm going to loosen it up because, again, because I do want that one to be um, more in line. Mostly because the color change um, is such a high contrast going from the blues over to the browns. 
and it sticks out a lot. So I want that to be more accurate. Granted, had I done it in um, where the entire shell was the solid color, then I wouldn't have to be worried about that. The split right in the middle of the shell. Um, but it's the same concept. It's not as crisp though. But uh, it still works. Alright, now I need two of these. And then it goes into the brown. I'll take it. Basically, I'm just kind of piddling with um, with this color. Since I've gone this far into it, I thought, why not? Let's just uh, do one more video on it, see how it looks. My last video took over 24 hours to load, and um, that was that was quite aggravating. Color change. Good. If I were to do this into like an Afghan, um, the the pattern would definitely come out in it. It would it would be obvious um, that it's pooling and stuff, and you would definitely be able to see it. Even though it's not like in the perfect shells where the color changes occur, um, it still makes the pattern. And since it is um, variegated throughout, it, it is a lot for, more forgiving in that aspect. Whenever you look at it, at the whole completed project as a whole, then um, there would be no, no denying the pattern will be in it, will be there. So I'm not going to make this video as long because hour-long videos just do not like to load up onto YouTube very efficiently. Color change. And here's the... See, it's it gets confusing here because... There's a color change here, but that's not the color change that we're looking at. We're looking at this color change here. So I need to tighten it up because the color change shouldn't occur until this one here. So I don't want it to occur to happen there. I'm going to tighten these up. It's nice and sunny today, after all that rain we had. 
um, but they, the ground is still draining and so is my sump pump. I heard it kick on a, a little bit ago. Okay, so that's better. It's going into the change here. If you're doing the moss stitch, um, well, in this colorway or another or any other colorway, you want it to be exact. Um, you want to avoid muddy legs and such as that as best you can. But um, this pattern is uh, definitely more giving. The colorway itself is too. Not super talkative in this one. In the last couple of vids, this one and my last one, my voice is a little bit more grovelly. Last one is because I had taken a nap and had just woken up from that. And this video is done in the morning. So once again, I recently woke up from sleeping. So my voice is definitely, uh, it's always grovelly in the mornings and after I wake up. Color change, color change occurred here. So my first couple of the stitches should have been in this color here. I'm gonna tighten these up. Still didn't tighten it up quite enough. Maybe. I get one, at least one blue stitch out of it, so that'll be good. So that will help it carry over better. See, I'm looking at that blue one right there. Okay. I need some coffee. <laughs> I have not had uh, any coffee this morning. I don't drink it every day either. Coffee's not good for floxies. Two, three, four. Um, caffeine isn't good. Chocolate's not good. A whole bunch of stuff is not good for floxies. But I would like a cup of coffee this morning. I'm not a morning person. 
My husband will testify to that one. I don't do mornings. I'm a night owl myself. Color change. No. Color change is here. This is the color that we're going into. And it's color changing way too soon. Way too soon. So I'm going to have to tighten all these up. Because that's just way too much. Yeah, all the way back to here. And if I have to, on one of these, I will only do four double crochets in a shell just to make it to where I have enough to get that color change a little bit better than that. I'm going to try and do it um, with all five in them and see if I can get it. I don't think I'm going to be able to manage that though because that was several double crochets into that color change. So I'm probably going to have to lessen one of these by one. Might even have to take two of them out. One out of one shell and one out of another. Close enough, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this one into four. Bumped my cord there. Like so. To where my color goes over to here. Because this is a um, one of those very high contrasting color changes. I mean, most of them are, but... Some of them go from like brown bronze into brown beige or bra brown bronze into brown steel type of thing. So at least some of the color that you were crocheting actually goes over into the next one, but not with these. I'm still crocheting super tight. One, two, three, four. Good, it's perfect. Did you see how that color changes perfect with the other one? This one here and this one here. It's a perfect color change. See how it angles up? Good. Color change. It's close. I'm going to keep going. Try 
try to keep my hands in the middle of the screen. But of course I look down at my work and I look up every now and again to uh, to check it. I contacted Red Heart um, about basically partnering with them. Um, they would send me variegated yarn, just one, you know, just, just one skein of each of them, the ones that I haven't done yet, that I would make um, pulling videos with all of them. Of course, you know, promoting Red Heart. Because that's all my videos have been is uh, Red Heart Yarn and stuff. But they didn't want to partner with me at this time. So, bummer, but that's okay. I'll still be doing my vids, of course. It would have just been um, a lot easier. Um, I'd have been able to do all the variegated yarns. Instead of just the ones that are... Uh, instead of just the ones that I can get. I have Americana. And Americana, the picture on Americana shows, I don't have it right handy right in front of me here. I'd reach over and grab it and show you. But on the picture of it, it shows that you can do the stripes that it's all red, white, red, white stripes, repeating that way. And then it breaks off into the blue um, and the stars. But, I mean, it's not exact stars. It's just like little white splotches of stars. I cannot figure out how to do that. And even so... It would be, it would be like that. It would be the red and white stripes, and then it would break off into the blue and the stars, and then it would go back into the red and white stripes again. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. I've even looked on the pattern, Red Heart pattern site to figure it out, to see, you know, if it's there. It's not. If it is, I um, didn't find it. There are like over 800 patterns. And I searched the name of it and everything and just couldn't, couldn't find it. Okay, so here, 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 here. Making sure my pattern color change is going correctly, and it is. Good. This one has extra. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go up to the top here. And down over to here. That was one of those where I had to do an extra double crochet in it 
um, to get the color change to land correctly. Color change. Hmm. So my color change should have been here. So I'm going to have to loosen these up. Maybe even throw in an extra double crochet if need be. so quiet in here and I have songs running through my head I'm a worshiper at church I'm on the worship team um, I lead I do background vocals um, I play I also play bass and keyboard so I refrain quite a bit from uh, just breaking out into song as I'm sitting here crocheting I had to remind myself that I'm doing a video all right, close enough. The change happened right here. We'll go with that. We did a song at church yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Um, and it's called Tremble. That's really good. And it's in my head. worship team is called Broken Chains Band and we have vi videos on YouTube too the band does so if you want to check those out listen to some praise and worship we've got an awesome band here I am to the corner again One, two, I'm going to go into this one here, do a double, chain two, turn, see that works out so much better on this side. Alright, so I may have to tighten up because I need, I don't know what I need, let's see, I'm going into this color here, okay, so I need almost a full I about need a, f let's see, I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I need a, f a full fan going into this one here. So I'm kind of counting here, which I haven't counted really before. Um, but I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then it goes into this one here, this color here. So I need one, two, three. I need one more to land on top of this one to get this color to shift over to here. So I'm going to tighten these up. That'd be cool if I could figure out how to stick a link of our worship band into my videos. That'd be neat. I haven't figured out how to edit or anything yet. How to add words or nothing to it. I need to load them up on, um, on my laptop and do it that way because I do everything on my phone. But in order to do that, 
I have to like go to a library or somewhere with um, some Wi-Fi. already do that. All right, a double here, chain to turn. I'm going to put a fan right here. And it's not quite enough yet, though. I'm going to go with it. One, two, three, four. It's almost enough. Looky there. I'm going to go ahead and lean this over. I'm only doing four right there. So I can get the color change to go where I want it to be. I see a color change coming, and yes, that is correct. But I think I did these too tight. I did. All right, loosen these up. It's hard whenever you switch from um, crocheting really tight to needing to loosen it up or crochet regularly your regular tension. So then you have to pull out and readjust. Which just makes your project take longer to complete. Still didn't go the way I'd like it to be. I'm going to add an extra one to this one. Which makes sense since I pulled one out of this one. See if this will suffice. It's gonna have to. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see if I need to add another one to that section as well because this this was this changes into the brown and the green Whatever you got to do to make it work. And that made it work. So I added an extra here, I added an extra one to here.
It takes so long to complete a row in this. So I'm not going to be able to complete another row because I just turned this one and just did this one here. But we would like to have gotten further along in this uh, for the video's sake. Just to show how it, um, how it all works out. Go into the color change. It's not changing where I want it to, where it changed at on the previous one, but it's close. All right, guys, so thanks for following along on this reef journey. I know it's been a, a long and tedious one. But I hope that gives you um, ideas on how, what style of pulling that you can do on super, super long colorways such as this one. And color change, going into this blue. So the brown, the beige brown is going here and now it's going to start shifting back this way as these colors have gone here and here and then these are going this way. looks like a mess at times but uh, I think by the end of it it would look really super cool I only have one skein of it so I'm not going to make this into a full complete project um, but if you do have reef and you want to make a bigger project out of it I think it would look really really cool so if you do please share it um, there's a Facebook page of plan pooling and that would be awesome if you could uh, share your project and see how this works out, see how that turns out. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, God bless and happy pooling.